What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI. I have another HP Pro 3500. This is the, the micro tower upgrade. So first you're going to do is remove the side cover panel. There's going to be a thumb screw right here. Get that screw. You're going to slide it to the left. And uh, what we're going to do first guys is uh, we're upgrading the power supply here. And to do that we have to remove the optical drive. To remove the optical drive you have to remove the front cover basil here. So you're going to take your finger right here and remove the press on the clips really gently. They lift them up with your finger and remove the front cover basil just like that. Now, what we're going to do is uh, to remove the power supply, we have to slide the optical drive here. So we have to remove the two screws here. And you have to use a Torx T15 screwdriver and just make sure you wear your latex gloves if you want. And you're going to slide it right here, the optical drive. And you can disconnect the SATA and power. You can just connect the, the power right here from it. And it's got a secure clip, so you gotta take a flathead screwdriver and press on the clip to release the lock right here. You see right here for the optical drive. Same with the same with the hard drive, the power, you have to do the same thing. It has a secure clip on the bottom like this. You have to press on it. And disconnect the four pin right here. And the 24 pin right there. And it's gonna be behind. You press on it. Right here, the clip, same thing, whether you gotta press on the clip to release it. And we're gonna try to remove the power supply. To remove the power supply, you guys need to, uh, there'll be four screws in the back. You gotta use a Torx T15 screwdriver. And this is the screws you're gonna remove from the power supply, right there. And if you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, you could just use a flathead, it's perfectly fine, it will work. And what you're gonna do is there's gonna be a little clip right here. So you have to press on the clip, the secure clip, to slide the power supply right here. You're gonna press on it and the power supply comes right out just like that. So I'll remove the power supply and I'm gonna be guys installing the CX uh, CX 650M power supply in here and uh, it's a modular power supply let me look and install it here it's gonna go like this and you should be able to slide in just like that slides right in and uh, I'm gonna go and connect the 24 pin here first I'm gonna connect the 24 pin first. And we're gonna click the four pin for the power. And you what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the flathead and you're gonna split the eight pin to a four pin right here. It splits right out like this. Really easy. See right there you have to split it. Because eight pin then we're gonna change it to four pin because motherboard uses only four pin right there. So go ahead and plug in the four pin back to the motherboard just like that and what I'm gonna do is uh, guys I'm gonna be upgrading the memory right here and what we're gonna do is uh, to remove the disconnect that right here you got like a little clips right here you press your finger one little right here to at least uh, remove the memory and I'm gonna be installing guys uh, a total of 16 gigs DDR3 1600 90cc on buffer memory again DDR3 1600 90cc on buffer memory this is for the desktop and and this is video guys is be upgraded a video card power supply hard drive to soul state drive and the memory for the light gaming and And you're gonna hear two clicks when you install the memory properly. You're gonna hear two clicks. And we install a total of 16 gigs, uh, 8 gig per each slot. So that's total DDR3 1600. So we'll take maximum 16 gigs in here. And we upgraded the power supply. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put, install the screws back in here on power supply. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna connect back the, the cables here. You see right there. The SATA for the power and the optical drive. 
And this is where you're gonna install the optical drive, connect it back to the optical drive here. Right there. We connected the optical drive. Now you can go ahead and uh, reinstall back the screws for the optical drive. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off the We're going to upgrade from hard drive to solid state drive. So we just upgraded that. Optical back to the installed optical drive. Now you're going to reinstall back the front cover basil. Okay, now what we guys we have to do is let me zoom out the camera. Okay. And we're going to guys go remove the four screws here for the hard drive and what you're gonna do is disconnect the SATA right here the cable that's connected to the motherboard to the to the hard drive and you're gonna move the four screws here and the power supply guys uh, you guys can use is uh, actually the like is the uh, other one it's called Antec. You guys can use this one Antec VP4450. This is a pretty good power supply. It's only 450 watt. This will work perfectly fine with the if you don't want to use the Sia uh, the Carsair. But the Carsair is a really good power supply. Let's see. So we got that. Now what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna take your hand like this and it slides right out the hard drive. And to upgrade the optical drive, guys, uh, what you need is. Uh, you have to go online by the the screws here. So here's the solid state drive that we're going to be installing 2.5 inch right here. And what you guys have to do is you have to buy the the screws are actually it's using the same screws as the optical drive. You see right here how small they are. And compare the the hard drive that was screws are removed they're a lot bigger. So you have this is for the optical drive the same screws that the, this is using for the solid state drive. They sell them online for the optical drive screws here. You can you can get them online. A lot smaller. So installing the solid state drive. We're gonna go ahead and uh, like this. And it's got the screws here. Can you see the screws where I put the lines right here? The black lines. That's where the way you install the solid state drive. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect the the SATA and power. Like this. Or you can do like this. It'd be a lot better this way. So we install the hard the soul state drive. Now what we have to do is we have to connect the SATA cable here for the soul state drive and we're gonna go ahead and install it. Hit them out the screws here and do that. You have to go ahead and uh, hold it with one hand like this. And install the screws. Yeah, this is uh, my guys. I'll do the separate video for the upgrading the processor to i5 3470 because I got a Pentium gene here, a dual core. I'm gonna be upgrading to Intel Core i5 3470 in here, so that'll be separate video. And I'm gonna be upgrading the uh, CMOS battery too. So, and that and the last screw here. So we install the solid state drive, but you can use any kind of 2.5 inch you want. And actually, as, and you can even install the either solid state drive, or you can actually will be able to fit a, even a hard laptop hard drive in here. It's the same mounting holes you have. So you guys, we upgraded to solid state drive and the memory. Now will be the last part is uh, will be be the video card. And to upgrade the video card, we're gonna go in the back right here, remove the screw here, 
Right here, the little clip he holds for the PCI brackets. Right there, that's where we install the video card. And you guys can go with, uh, I'm gonna go with the Asus uh, GTX 950. This is the mini, and this is like the low low power consumption video card. And you, or you can go with uh, MSI. This is a GTX 952, but this is a, like an overclocked edition. It uses more power. It's got a six pin here. So you guys, let me go and install the video card. To do that, there's gonna be PCI brackets. You have to remove the two PCI brackets here in the back, and another one in here that's mounted to the motherboard. It looks like. So what you do is you take this like this screwdriver, and it comes right out. And we're going to install the video card, show you guys how to do that. And so here's the video card. You're going to install through PCI Express X16 slot right there, the black slot, the top one. You take a video card like this, and you're going to install it through PCI Express X16 slot. Just like that. It's We're done. Now we have to put the clip back on there in the back. Like this. And we're done. So let me go ahead and uh, so guys, this video is for upgrading the power supply, video card, memory, and from the hard drive to solid state drive. This is for light gaming. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is put the side cover panel back on. So what you guys have to do is go on like plug in your your monitor directly to the video card and go to Nvidia.com website and get the drivers for it and and restart the computer. For the GTX, this is a GTX 950 video card. So if you have a 64-bit operating system, that's what you have to get the drivers for it. Install the drivers, restart the computer, and you're gonna plug in the monitor directly to the video card, and you're done. So guys, so let me go ahead and put the side cover back on here, and we're done. So yeah, guys, this video is for the HP Pro 3500 for the, the micro tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.